Okay. There we are. So, um, hi everyone. I'm Helen Terry, and I'm here at Soma Ranch in Montgomery, Texas. And I am speaking with a, a dear friend who really feels more like family these days, but someone also that I really have been on a wonderful journey with. So Kinga is here, and we thought it was a well. I said, "Come on, Kinga, it's a historical moment. We should we should have a <laughs> chat about this." And that I think it's really a big deal, a big deal that today you started your first ever Nia White Belt. I think it's amazing that we've attracted 17 people. And I saw something online that that's the same number of the people of the first yes. training that you did. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to congratulate you and look at your journey. And so um, just share a little bit of um, how long ago did you start near and what made you start up to do the white belt? And how long ago was that? Uh, well, <clears throat> You know, well, we have we have history, Helen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did the white belt in 2010, and yes, there were exactly the 17 of us, and it's that's that's magic, or it's I I do not call it coincidence. So there there is a greater real be, behind it. So now the new trainees, there are 14 new ones and three retakers, so the number is the same. There are 17, and it's a big moment. I don't know if I already feel it, but from one hand, this is the first Hungarian language art of sensation wide belt training, which is held ever. Although what we have been doing, you had the trainings in English and I was this little sitting monkey who speaks continuously in Hungarian and delivers the message for those who didn't speak English that time. So it's, uh, and this is the first ever white belt training I'm leading. Yeah, I mean, it really is true. The words, the white belt have come out of your mouth many times, like at least yes. once a year, yeah, for, for a decade. Um, yes. I also love like in time, like with your two boys, like I think your youngest was still a baby when you started. When I when I did the white belt, he was one and a half years old, and he turned fourteen last Sunday. Gosh, <laughs> yeah, but it so, really is wonderful. So, and you've been on a long journey. I mean, you've gone through all the belts, and you've been so dedicated, and you've done a lot of the groundwork. Like you've built a beautiful community. You had your studio. And then in the pandemic for a while, you didn't have your studio. Now you have it back. I think I, one thing I adore about you is just your resilience and your trust. You know, you seem to just hang in there and do what needs to be done. And when sense, faced with adversity, you just seem to have that trust that something will work out and you just hang in there um, yes. and, you make, and you make things happen. What's your secret sauce? Uh <laughs> I think the call was very, very strong. The the time when I found Nia, it was just. I know it's so good. He's, he's, he's one of them. So the time when I found Nia was uh, just before I got pregnant with my younger son. And then I, I saw a paper on the wall of a yoga studio that Nia every Monday and Wednesday. And it made me really curious, mainly the name Nia. I, I don't know why it resonated with me, with my name as well. So I thought that, oh, I would like to <clears throat> uh, go to one of the classes. And then I got pregnant, so I skipped nine months or a bit more, but he was still a tiny baby, two, three months old when I went to my first Nia class. And um, <clears throat> the magic happened on the second one. So the first one was good, but the second one was, the second one was amazing. And then the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth was terrible. I wanted to do it right, but I had no idea. I really didn't have any that, how should I do it? And then on the seventh, my teacher, my then teacher said that it could happen that there would be a white belt in Hungary next year. And then I, I knew that I would I would have been there. And I, I was there. Yeah. I was there. What I... <clears throat> I am not the most disciplined one. 
you know me. And I think what kept me on track is not just the will to keep going, but I could easily release the illusion of being perfect instead of being whole. And I keep on searching for this wholeness, which I found in Nia. And I like to think of myself that Nia personally called me, the, well, she invited me to, to do it. And I was the luckiest, luckiest person on the world that you came <laughs> and you, you just gave me the envelope to write the letter to myself. And then I wrote down all the points <clears throat> and all of them fulfilled and beyond. Uh, it's, I love how when you're sharing, it's the little things along the way, like the fact that your teacher mentioned the near training. Yes. And if she hadn't, and I think sometimes, I mean, I don't know around the world if it's really great that your near teacher shared that there was a near training coming yes. up. I, I love that she was confident in herself and could see that abundance of wanting to let her students know there was an opportunity. And then it's interesting thinking about someone who came before you was how Andy came all the way to England to do her blue belt with me. She's in Hungary. Um, she experiences the blue belt and then she just felt on her heart that somehow she wanted me to come to Budapest to do that first white belt. I'd never been to Budapest. I had no understanding of Hungarian culture. I still can't really speak Hungarian. Oh no, I know like Peser and Kustanum and a few words. The most, um, the most, and Pest, the most important <laughs> words. <laughs> but isn't it wonderful that your teacher told you about the white belt? Isn't it wonderful that Andy had it on her heart? to start that first training. Yes. Isn't it wonderful that you, at those 17 people, you stepped in and you stuck there and you just, and you you didn't know what you were doing at the beginning. I think that's one thing that's wonderful is that, but you stuck in, but you've been, you say that you're not disciplined, but I think you're very dedicated. Yes. Like you have really dedicated a lot of time and life force energy to this. And how many times have you flown to America during the last 13 years? Six or seven. Yeah, exactly. And that's a big deal flying from Hungary. So it's a long flight. It's it's a long way. <clears throat> the, the last time I came back, it took more than 20 hours, 22. I had to change flights in different in different airports. I've never been before, and I don't think I will return. <laughs> yes. So really resourceful. And I just wanted to really to congratulate you. So you did your first session today and yes. uh, you've been in this first session many times, but this time, yes. this time, same studio, but now you're in that, in the, the seat of the, the main leader. How did it feel today? I was uh, surprisingly calm and aligned. I knew what I wanted to share with the participants and believe it or not, I started on time and I finished on time. <laughs> so I improved a lot. <laughs> I was there on time and uh, I know how much does it mean for me personally as well, when the trainer or the one who leads the training and the course and I, I should trust and trust her and if she if she's on time then it makes my experience more safe and more smooth and more easy so I I, I was there on time when I finished and everybody left and there were 15 20 minutes when I was sitting on the couch and thinking about it I'm not <laughs> I will stay there for the next <laughs> until the next morning I I can't go home, but but uh, but I could. So my husband came and gave me a lift. So now I'm in our house and preparing myself for tomorrow's sessions. Yeah. And introduce them the first principle, the layer of the layers, the joy of movement. Yeah. Well, I think you're prepared. You're ready for this. I think it's lovely how you got your husband and your two sons really supporting and and encouraging you when I called yesterday hearing them in the background and how proud they feel it really is a whole it, it you know it is a family thing too that they have 
supported and encouraged you all the way through this. And I love how I've got to know them well. I feel like it's y'all are just part of our family and, and vice versa, Liliana, getting to be with you. Well, hey, um, I think that you are an inspiring woman and um, within Nia, I think it's so inspiring what you've done. And also beyond Nia, if, you, if there's some women in Nia or some women just in general out there watching us chin wag here and talk about how this is a, a wonderful milestone for you, what's your advice to a woman who has big dreams? Never stop dreaming, never, <laughs> ever, ever for a second. Dream daytime, nighttime, and uh, and reach and go. And if you have to stop, then stop and be patient and then continue and do not stop. Do not forget dreaming. I think that's the most important thing. So if you ask me that what was my superpower, then... One of them was these continuous dreaming and I believed in them and I knew that they would manifest one day and most of them are already here around me. There are still some, you know, uh, I do not have a bucket list. I don't even like the word bucket list because it's really popular. I have a bucket list to go to here and there and to fulfill this or that. I have dreams and some desires and, <laughs> and I'm going forward them. And Nia gave me all the tools. Well, Nia gave me all the tools. The other uh, secret is that I, I am a forever student as i call myself i am your forever trainee and i love to be i love to be a student i love to be a trainee and i am i am a, now i am a trainer but in fact or deeply i am a white belt and i'm never going to forget it that i am a white belt so when i look at my belt which is black then i know that it used to be white yeah I think that's one of the really super things is the power of being able to step into your greatness while sustain your humility. You know, yes. you're humble and um, and also just having that hunger for being a, a perpetual student. I think I'm the same way. And we're in a friendship now where I learn so much from you too. I like, one thing I like about our relationship is how we have so many different relationships between each other. And, yes. and how they all dance well together. Yes. So yes. I appreciate that. Were any other superpowers, Miss Kinger? Was that your, any other superpowers? The red hair? The red hair. <laughs> yes. That's your superpower. <laughs> well, I love you. And I know that it was a big day today. And um, I appreciate you took some time just to, for us to acknowledge the day, you know, this this training that you've been on to become a trainer it started before the pandemic happened and then pandemic happened and so many different ways of how the course changed and how some goalposts changed and um and and the near training most of what you've learned has been in english which is not your first language and um i just really just acknowledge you're amazing how you stuck in how you've found your way, how you've attracted all these people. Your future looks bright. You've got your studio back. I look forward to coming back to visit. And um, just that's what we plan for the late autumn that you are coming. So I'm <laughs> seeing the secrets. <laughs> so you always like next thing, always moving towards it. You always have that vision. You're a big dreamer. And um, I really, I, I enjoy being with you and your tenacity and it's a big achievement. So congratulations. I love you. Thank you so much. And without you, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> we will cry after the recording. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a lovely journey. We have all our traditions now our coffee shop where we go to eat, where we celebrate at the end of a training, lots of sacred moments and memories. So 
it's lovely experiencing this life being accompanied by you. So thank you so much. I love you. I love you. <laughs>